Diane, she is 10 months old. When she gets comfortable in the space, I find she takes over it. It's kind of like it's mine. You can't touch it, like back away. <laughs> She's a very independent <laughs> little, I say superwoman. These are the moments that make motherhood so special. But for 20-year-old Molly, the journey here has had its challenges. At 16, I moved out of home because I got addicted to drugs. So I kind of went down that path. I was kind of just like looking for my next fix. So whoever had my next kind of fix idea was where either I could stay or that just what made me happy, really. Molly soon found herself with a newborn and without a place to live. This is where the newly constructed youth hub came into her life. What we're doing here is we're providing housing to youth who have found themselves in a situation where they're no, no longer able to reside at home. Each one of these units, they are renting an apartment as anyone else would. The units are, are subsidized, but they also come with supports. We have a, a team of 11 case managers who actually assist with those transitions into adulthood. I know if I ever have any issues or just a random question, like I can come and ask them comfortably. First is when I was 16, like I didn't know who to talk to. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't trust people. Molly's goals are her own. Her goals are not something that we set for her. So she genuinely has set this as something she's looking to accomplish for herself because this is not the final destination. This is just one stop on the way to that transition to adulthood. Yeah. Hey, Molly, how are you? How are you, Mike? Good, how are things? I'm really good. I just started school, so stressful. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you taking in school right now? Early childhood education. Oh, nice. Where are you doing it? Algonquin. Not only have we seen her grow in terms of the goals that she's looking to achieve, but we've actually been able to see her make this space her own. It was so great just to be like, look, I can make my own space for her. Like, I can start my own life here with her and have her grow up knowing, like, hey, like, if mom can do it, so can I. It was one little blip in our life, and now we can start like a new chapter. We can't wait to see how she continues to progress. Getting back into post-secondary is an amazing opportunity that I think she'll really be able to kind of leverage the rest of her life. To know that people are more concerned about youth being homeless in Ottawa is really prideful for me because it helps a lot of youth, like in my situation, get off the street, become more confident in themselves to better themselves in the future. Big thanks to Molly for sharing that story. Just another reason why we all need to pick up our phones and donate. For the most part, our operators have been pretty busy. Kudos to all of you. Thank you for taking part and being involved. But we're not done yet. We've got a lot of time left. Let's head down to Kristen. Tessa, thank you so much. And I'm joined with Mike and Molly now. And Molly and I were just talking about the fact that there is still a stigma sometimes around sharing yeah. stories like this, but how important it is because it does encourage others who are in a similar situation to get help. Yeah, um, growing up I always looked up to people who could speak out about it because it's really a hardship while you're in it. And when you're in kind of that drug state and you're homeless, a lot of people look down on you and don't understand how hard it is to find the housing to get out of all that. So it is kind of my, I guess you could say, like my own thing to <laughs> talk about it. So others who are in that kind of dark tunnel trying to look for that light, like they can find a light and know it will get better down the road too. Well, you are a light, so thank you for that. <laughs> what made you decide to change? I guess being pregnant with my daughter really changed it all for me because I was just such in a dark path and state and I don't know where I would have been without her, to be honest. I probably would have still been in that rough patch in my life doing things that when I look back now weren't so great. So she was kind of my light. <laughs> And she's so beautiful, my gosh. <gasps> Mike, I want to bring you in. Yeah, for sure. Youth Hub is a place that it is tra it's transitional housing, but it's a lot more than that. There's a lot more services that are offered. Tell us about what you guys do. Yeah, it's, it's, actually, um, it's actually permanent housing. So Molly can live there uh, basically as long as she needs to kind of progress onto the next steps of her life. And the really cool thing about it is, is at the ground floor, it is more than just housing. We also have a, a hub in there that has services as well. So we have our mental health services that are based out of there. So it really means that people have kind of like a quick access to the services that they need. And we're watching Nick Paul on the screen here helping out and uh, you get some special <clears throat> visitors from time to time like that. What is the Ottawa Senators funding help with? 
Well, it's actually really re helped us kind of realize this dream. This is something that's been in the works for a bit and kind of the donations that, that we're able to get are really what made Riverside possible to be able to be built and to be able to have that hub in there to really offer that space for quick connections into service. And Molly is a mom now with baby Diane almost a year old. Um, it must be such a relief not having to worry about where you're going to go. Yeah, because with a shelter you have like eight months and then if you didn't get housing you have another shelter. So to come to the youth hub and find housing, it's kind of that relief of like, okay, like if I'm gonna be living in shelters or I'm gonna have permanent housing to build my home with. And we know now that the future is bright for you. So yeah. thank you guys so much. We appreciate you being here. I'm gonna pass it over to Ian.